Back up, please. Back up. Back up, sir. Back up, sir. Come on, please. Cameras, microphones, and all eyes are trained on Barry Bonds. I'm still surprised to come to this, but here we are, and it's a great news story, and that's why we're all out here. Chronicle reporter Lance Williams literally wrote the book on Bonds and the steroid scandal that's gone deeper than he ever imagined. When we started on this, we didn't even think uh, sports stars used banned drugs, did we? I sure didn't know it. It's a win, son! Barry, the man! Fans who say the government singling Bonds out showed up in support. It's an example of prosecutorial misconduct at best. Bullying is what we used to call it in the schoolyard. Is they're picking on him because they can. But witch hunt or not, the reporter whose book started it all says he's not happy to see Bonds in hot water. I don't take any pleasure of in the misfortune or difficulties of others. I just think it's a fascinating news story and I can't wait to see how it plays out. But Williams may have to wait a while before he gets to see this case play out. One expert told us the defense may try to drag this out as long as possible. You argue the point, that takes four months, then you file another motion, you might learn something, then you file another motion. There'll be five, ten motions filed. That'll take a year to two years. This case will go on and on and on. And all the while, Bonds will be free without bail, with the media watching his every move. It's just a long process that Bonds is going to go through. By the time this case gets near trial, he'll be so far removed and retired from baseball, it won't even matter anymore. Until then, then his lawyers are ready to start filing motions as Bonds looks for his next job in baseball. Please play next year. Let's see you in Oakland. In San Francisco, Jonathan Bloom, Cron 4 News.